Main things that we came up with that sort of propelled our decisions were um, we embraced make it feel good, looking at um, transparency, natural light, diversity of spaces, sound levels, accessibility, and room to move. Then we looked at embracing purpose and decided we define technology as being a means rather than a tool because we figure as you move into the future, everybody, technology is going to be a given and you're going to use different types of technology. Um, and we were looking at real world applications. Then the big one was form follows function. Um, really looking at what teaching and learning is all about and using that to um, decide what a facility or a space was going to look like. And I'm gonna let Rianne take over. Okay, so this whole idea of form follows function, I'm sorry, is something very foreign to a teacher because you just take what you've got and work with it in terms of what your form looks like in your building. But um, this is essentially the image that we came up with for our sort of ideal um, teacher and learning space for students. So in the middle we have a quiet commons area. Um, we were focusing on the individual whole student, but we thought that it was important to have that area. These are like teacher spaces where you could have small groups, you could have project groups, you could have, we wrote purposeful furniture in the middle because it could vary, and then large group instruction on one side. The dashed lines indicate either I believe we call it like a porous space, so windows or movable walls, so that maybe these two teachers could collaborate or those two teachers could collaborate and those students work together so that we could have cross-curricular activities. And then the outside here is for the more robust area, so students who want to be a little louder and yet still be productive could go here, whether it be an outside or just still inside but not in this space. Um, so we worked our way from quiet to academic to robust, assuming of course that they're all academic. Um, and so we were trying to break down these zones and scales of what we saw as the ideal technology everywhere, a means um, and an application like she said earlier. And then my little input there was mobile white and or smart boards because these kids could use it with their projects, those kids could use it and then the teacher could use it as well. So this is sort of our ideal that makes sense?